it's Miss Kim from the Building for Kids Children's Museum and today we're going to talk about the water cycle. So the water cycle starts off with the earth. There's water on the earth and then the sun comes out. The sun heats up the earth and the water rises up and goes into the sky. But as it gets farther from the earth, the sun goes away and it starts to cool. When it cools, it becomes, whoop, so many fingers, a cloud. Eventually that cloud is gonna get very heavy as more and more water starts to condense into the cloud. And then that water is going to rain down back onto the earth. And it's gonna then repeat. So we are going to act out the water cycle. And you can either use puppets or you can act it out with me. But I need two people. I'm gonna to pretend to be water. The ground is gonna be earth, but I need the sun. So I roped in a volunteer and we'll see if this works. Marvin, come here, Marvin. Come here, Marvin. So Marvin is gonna be our sun. So when he comes out, I am going to get warm and because I'm the water and I'm gonna rise up in the air. But when the sun goes away, Oh, Marvin, you didn't see that. Then I start to cool. All right, so we're gonna start off with water on the earth. So I would like you to get down on the ground and you can be in a puddle, you can be in a river, however you like. And eventually the sun comes out. And when the sun comes out, you start to evaporate. That means you're warming up and you are turning into a vapor and rising up and the sun is still there so you're rising 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 but eventually the sun goes away so once the sun goes away you start to get cold you cool off and then all the water around you condenses so if there are other water droplets around you you can condense into a cloud but eventually the cloud is going to get too heavy and when that happens you're going to actually precipitate back down to the ground. So can you think of what comes out of a cloud? We've been having it a lot lately here in Wisconsin. We've been having a lot of this. It's rain. So we're gonna rain back down to the earth. Oh, so we're back down to the earth. And you can again decide, are you gonna be a puddle? Are you gonna be a river? Are you gonna be an ice cube? Well, as that happens, eventually the sun, hey Marvin, Marvin is going to come back out. And when the sun come back, comes back out, you are going to warm up and you're going to start to evaporate. So as you evaporate, you fly up into the sky and then the sun goes away. And once the sun is gone, you cool off. And remember, when you cool off, you get cold. And so you huddle up together with all of the other raindrops and you condense into a cloud. And that cloud gets very heavy. And I don't know about you guys, but when I'm carrying something that's too heavy, I end up dropping it. So we're gonna precipitate back to the ground. This time, I'm gonna precipitate a snow. So snow kind of goes down slowly. Ooh. Back down to the ground. So then guess what happens? You're on the ground and, Marvin, the sun comes back. So when the sun comes back, you're gonna evaporate and you're gonna turn into a vapor and you're gonna fly into the sky. And then that sun is gonna go away. Marvin. When the sun goes away, you get cold. Oh, you're cold. And then you end up condensing into a cloud. And once you condense into that cloud, you get heavy and then you're gonna precipitate. This time I'm gonna rain and that's a heavy rain. So I'm gonna go so do you see how it goes around and around in a cycle? And you can keep doing that as much as you want. The water cycle is constantly happening. Even if you don't see a, the cloud in the sky or rain coming down, something in that cycle is happening. It's most likely the evaporation, water coming off, off the ground, warming up. Hey Marvin, come here Marvin. So, Thank you all so much for playing with us today. Right, Marvin? 
He's like, more? This is the best game ever! Thank you so much. Have a wonderful day, and see you again soon. Bye, everyone.